I have here, Hunky and Dory. They're doing better, um, but as you can see, we're trying to bribe them with every food we've got in the house. Um, we had to syringe feed them again this morning, a jar of baby food each, because they've lost some weight, and that's not good. So um, I'll give you an official report when I send this. i got to look at the door chart. I think he's down half an ounce, and you're down two, I think. Uh, it's not good for them to lose weight, but they're also totally different cats now, as you can see. They're hanging out. I mean, even if I take the catnip away, he'll still hang out for a brush. We've been brushing them like crazy, which they love. I think in the future you should schedule brushings because boy does that um, make them happy and remind us that, and bring your brush because if it's sitting in the room, it kind of is a hint to us like, oh, that will help. Because, um, as you can see, they're quite happy to get the love. And, by the way, Sheldon has been running around upstairs. He's been going in up on the shelves. He likes cruising. Um, Oz is still a little shy, and when I'm not in here, he'll go under the bed or in the carrier. But, you know, if I drag him out, which I do, I just pull him out from under the bed. He doesn't fight it. He's like, okay, fine. Brush me. Give me love. Whatever. Give me fancy feast. Whatever it takes. Come on. He don't want to eat your food, but... Oh, come on. You don't want to eat my food either, huh? Come on. We're not done. Fancy feast. Boom. Fancy feast for everyone. They like they do like the dry treats, um, so I'll pull some of those in here. But, you know, we want them to eat. But they just did eat an entire jar of baby food each. Um, so you're going to have some baby food charges and some hand feeding charges. Just a warning. Baby food is 3 bucks, and hand feeding, including baby food, is $10. Um, but... Hopefully that's going to end soon because we're really working on love and love is really the key to all and of course bribes. Come on, you like it. I see you trying to eat it. Eat it. Come on, don't change your mind. What do you need, a pedestal? Don't change your mind. You like it. What if I put a tiny bit of, what if I put a tiny bit of this in it? Would that make you want to smell it more? Come here. Come here. Smell now. There's a little dot of, there's a little dot of fun in there. Yeah, keep looking. That's what I'm talking about. Now, stick your nose in there, and then you'll want to eat. No. <laughs> They're so cute, though. Anyway, as you can see, we have all different foods around here trying to get them eating. But we succumb to the force feed because they'd lost weight, and we don't want that. That's not good. Um, anyway, this one is doing great. He's super happy. And you're coming around, aren't you? Are you coming around the bend? All right, that's your report. Please let us know you got this, okay? And actually, why don't I go ahead and just give you the proper weights right now so you know exactly what's going on. Sorry, you gotta take your catnip. Oh, look at you going up on the thing. That's good to see. I like to see that. You look happy. All right, so this is their personal catnip station. Point right here. Here's their exact weights. Sheldon checked in at 11 pounds, 11.5 ounces, then dropped to 11.5, now 11.4. So the big drop was the first day, so now he's starting to hold. Oz came in at 17 pounds, 11.5 ounces, dropped to 17.4, and is at 17.2. So those are pretty significant weight losses, but they are eating. I mean, we're syringe feeding both of them. A full jar at every meal. That's our third time this morning. So we know that they're eating. And then if they're eating, they think straight. And then they groom themselves and act normal, as you can see here. All right, so certainly a big difference from earlier. They're starting to get used to it. Kitty Mel.